Welcome to the next lecture on social marketing examples. In this, we will try to cover research methods in social marketing, social marketing in public health, social marketing in social causes, data for decision making in social marketing, social media and online strategies, creative campaign design and monitoring in evaluation. The effective research methods are essential for gathering valuable data and insight in social marketing campaign. Survey is one of the most powerful tool. Surveys will have questioners to collect quantitative data from a large sample. Measurable attributes, knowledge, behavioral patterns of the target audience will be recorded. It provides statistical data for analysis and campaign evaluation. The focused group for doing the survey plays a very, very important role. Small group discussion to explore in-depth perception and opinions are taken from the focused group. Capture qualitative insights motivations and underlying attitudes. This is very important, underlying attitudes. This, all these things will be brought out by the focus group. Then based on that, they generate ideas for campaign messages, messaging and strategies. The observational studies include direct observation of target audience behavior in real world setting provide rich contextual data on behaviors, habits and interactions, help identify barriers and facilitators to behavioral change. These are part of observational studies. In-depth interviews are one-on-one -on -one interviews to gather detailed and personal insights, explore individual perceptives, experience and emotions, useful for underlying complex behaviors and motivations are part of in-depth interviews. Content analysis is systematic analysis of written, visual or audio content you try to do in the content analysis. It reveals trends, themes and messaging effectiveness in campaign. It also helps in assessing the portrayal of societal issues in media and communication. Sometimes a very small uh, I, uh, this thing, uh, theme or an event would have got portrayed in a big way or a big event would have been portrayed in a small way. So a content analysis is done. They try to understand the event and accordingly try to have a content analysis so that they can issue media and communication details. The social marketing is a very powerful tool that can be used to promote healthy behavior and preventive diseases. Right? Social marketing campaign in public health care includes promote healthy behavior, for example, exercising, which I try to do regularly with I fail miserably. Next is nutrition and smoking. Smoking citations, right? Next is raises awareness about vaccination and preventive care. Then targeted specific health issues like HIV, AIDS, then malaria, polio, uh, diabetes, etc. Then provides accessible health information and empowers individuals. 
Next, it can be used for segments, audi segments, audience to address unique needs. Then collaborate with healthcare provider for wider impact. Utilizes social media for engagement and awareness. Involves local communities for trust and adoption. Then evaluates impact and improves further intervention. So, these are some of the uh, social marketing campaigns which go undergo in healthcare segment. The most successful uh, social marketing campaigns in healthcare is National Tobacco Control Program. Utilized social marketing to discourage tobacco usage. Implemented anti tobacco advertisements on various media platforms. Increase the price of tobacco products. So, these are all under the National Tobacco Control Program mission. They did it. This is also one thing which they did. They levied huge tax on tobacco products. That is the discouraging people to go towards it. The next one is Mission Indra Dhanush aimed for full immunization coverage in children and pregnant women. Employed social marketing in remote and underserved areas. Mobilized communities to participate in vaccination drive. This is also a social marketing campaign very successful in public health care. For social cause, social marketing is a powerful tool that can be used to address a wide range of social issues which includes environmental conservation saying say no to plastic. So, here encourage encouraged people to reduce plastic usage and adopt eco-friendly alternatives. This is one major initiative for social cause. Save trees. So, it is promoted tree plantation which can remove soil erosion because now you see lot of uh, floods and other things are happening and conservation for a greener environment. So, nowadays people are also trying to say uh, no to even papers. They say digital technologies use it and then try to remove, make it as paperless office. Today kids are also moving towards paperless uh, schools. So, here uh, entire thing the notes they will try to record it digitally and they will try to type and send the assignments whatever it is. So, education each one teach one is one thing very very powerful. I always used to make fun each one catch one. So, it is each one teach one is a very very powerful thing which is used for education. So, here it encourages encourage individuals to educate at least one underprivileged underprivileged child. So, so as part of uh, Abdul Kalam's mission, so he has said that try to at least make sure five people you remove them or you move out from alcohol smoke and try to educate at least five. And he also says in his uh, in his mission statement, he says that let every individual in this country plant and maintain 10 trees. So, this is all in the way of social uh, marketing for uh, social cause, save the tree, say no to plastic, educate one, uh, each one teach one, then uh, school environmental drive. So, it is mobilizing communities to enroll all children. This is also a social uh, cost, a very successful thing. Then poverty um, elevation, 
it is employment for all is a, a skill skill development program and it also tries to talk about job opportunities job opportunities for unemployed for um, unemployed then microfinance for empowerment is to ac access microfinance for small business individuals or groups okay these are some of the social marketing which is done for social cause uh, and it is very very successful social marketing empowers community and fosters collective action for better society so using data for decision making in social marketing the data is essential for making informed decisions in social marketing by collecting and analyzing the data social marketers can gain insight into the target audience identify the barrier and benefit to change measure the effectiveness of the campaigns so some of the way that data can be used for decision making in social marketing are informing strategies so here exa the example is going to be data can be used to identify identify the target audience set goals and objectives and objectives and develop messages and channels then when we try to do optimize the campaign it is here the data can be used to track first was identify it is to track the performance of campaigns identify areas areas for improvement and make necessary changes okay this is the most important thing which uh, which happens because of the data getting collected and based upon the data we try to take decisions today data analysis data analytics model generation social uh, marketing model generation is 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 talk of the town there are only few players in this industry and it is a very very challenging event so all these things could happen because with data you can see the pattern with pattern you can see whether your effort is fruitful or not so for all these things data is used so that's why i said some of the ways the data can be used for decision making is informing strategies and optimizing campaigns so when we are talking about the measuring effectiveness the effectiveness can be measured with the data the data can be used uh, to track changes in behavior these are the measuring effectiveness behavior measure uh, the reach and frequency of messages and assess the cost effective effective of campaign okay this is the measuring effectiveness it tries to measure the it is used to track the change behavior the social media and the online strategies 
the social media plays a pivotal role in promoting today social media plays a very very important role for any business to happen in promoting and amplifying social marketing campaign some of the ways that social media can be used in marketing are creating awareness this is sharing sharing educational content sharing educational content content video and infographic info graphic to that is by creating awareness uh, in the way of social media next is influencing behavior it is sharing motivation stories motivational stories and then providing providing tips and advice uh, and offering incentive these are part of influencing behavior then building community is going to be creating online forum groups and chats or blogs where people connect and share information share experience so uh, this is the way the some of the ways that social media can be useful in marketing is creating awareness influencing behavior and building communities so influencing behavior motivational stories some of the examples of successful online initiatives in social marketing are kaveri calling tree plantation campaign objective is revive the kaveri river and promote environmental conservation the approach was social media driven campaign encouraging tree plantation along the river bank kaveri i belong to uh, the bank of kaveri so i have a passion in this i have played a very important role in connecting people under the initiative of kaveri calling tree plantation campaign aim is to raise awareness about water resource management and sustainability it's not only preventing soil erosion but also trying to do that save our tiger campaign the objective is tiger conservation and protection of natural habitat strategies are uh, leveraging social media for awareness and encouragement the focus is predominantly on raise awareness about endangered tiger species and conservation so save tiger they they run uh, the uh, campaign they run a uh, storytelling storytelling then cartoon figure then they tell stories about tiger and need for tiger they dress like tiger so all these things are part of promotions which they do so some of the creative campaign design so the creative campaign creativity is very very important creative campaign design is essential for the success of any social marketing campaign so here uh, the creative campaign will capture the attention of the target audience resonate their values then motivate them to take action resonate their values i am a, i am an indian i have my own tradition i own my own value practices i resonate the advertisement with my values so then it tries to hit me very hard and i digest the matter tips for designing creative and impactful campaign is know your audience so first is you always try to understand understand uh, their needs values and motivation to tailor the campaign effectively 
next clear message is define campaign goals and communicate a concise and understandable message this is clear messaging whenever we try to talk also we try to talk so many things in fact advertisement is one one industry where you have to be as precise as possible the jingle has to be as appealing the logo or the words have to be as appealing the maximum duration for an advertisement will be around about 1 minute or 30 seconds. So, clear messaging is one thing which is very important to make it more creative and impactful. Some of the uh, creative campaign designs are creative visuals. So, here you use image, logo, video and infography. Infographics to capture the attention of individuals. Tell a story. So, engage audience emotionally, emotionally uh, with re relatable narratives. Then use humor or wit. So, uh, here we try to make it memorable, but avoid trivializing, trivializing the subject. So, so you have to be very sharp. You can do a comedy show, but the comedy show should have a message. Be authentic and track results is monitor always whatever you develop or track it. Monitor and adjust the campaign because in the initial days you will have a different set of audience. Then later you will have a new set of audience. So, uh, so you should always try to monitor and adjust your campaign to achieve um, your goals. Okay. So, creative campaigning design is very, very uh, challenging. So, the next one is monitoring. Monitoring and evaluation MES is an essential part of social marketing. Track the progress of your campaign. Identify what is working, what is not working make necessary adjustments whatever it is. The effectiveness of a marketing uh, campaign can be measured through the following indicators. One is reach, number of people it has reached, right. So, next one is frequencies, number of times people getting exposed to your campaign, right. Then engagement is level of interaction people have had, people had with our campaign and the last one is behavioral change is extend to which people have changed because of your campaign. So, these are the four indicators. So, monitoring and evaluation will be done through tracking the progress, identifying what is working making changes, then the effectiveness will be done by reach, frequency, engagement and behavioral changes. To summarize this lecture on social marketing, social marketing has demonstrated success in various areas such as polio eradication, sanitation improvement, 
tobacco control making a tangible impact on people's lives and views. Public health campaign leveraging social marketing have played a pivotal role in promoting healthy behavior, disease prevention and healthy education. The social marketing has been instrumental in raising awareness and driving action on environmental conservation, education and poverty elevation. Harnessing the data driven insight and social media platform amplifies the campaign reaching and engaging the people with more effectiveness. Innovative and resonant campaign capture attention and inspire meaningful change among diverse audience. Regular assessment ensures ongoing improvement and accountability. As part of this lecture, the assignment is name five different social marketing cases which has influenced you and your society in which way how did it happen how did you get influence how did you influence the society what is the benefit the society is getting through this social marketing of five products. These are some of the references which I have been using and thank you very much.